For this wire wrapping pendant, we need 20, 18, and 28 gauge wire. First of all, bend a wire of 20 gauge in the length of about 40 centimeters and twist at the ending point, just like this. We are going to twist all the length and one of the easiest ways is to use the door knob just like this and start twisting it at the other side just like this with both hands and when it's finished cut it out with flush cutter and extract it. Now you have very beautiful twisted wires and we need two of them and also 18 gauge wire that is going to be side to side just like this one at right and one at left and we are going to attach these three of course together so we make knot and ties with that 20 gauge wire all around these two wire strands at both sides just like this and we make this structure even more firm with wrapping the thinner wire of about 28 gauge at two or three points of this length. So just make a tie and wrap the thinner wire all around the first wire strand two or three times and continue that for the other one. We repeat this for both structures just like this and even at this step it could be a very beautiful basic for bracelet or even ring. Now we are going to make a very beautiful wire wrapping part for our agate stone. You could use a flame to make this twisted part that is firm now a little more soft. If it's soft enough and you could do this, it's no needed to supply any heat or flame. Just curve all those three strands and wherever you feel that those strands are overlapped, you could use chain nose pliers to make them even. And this is going to be something like this and to be continued. Of course, this would be the next curved part and we bend all those three together and here for the other structure of course at the other side and when we put them together and interlock them that will be something like this a very beautiful pattern and we would continue that till the end just like this as you can see, uh, one of them are a little longer and this could be the end. Even this structure is perfect for a bangle or bracelet too. Now, put this wire structure on your stone and make a bend at every angle on your stone. At every level and step just put your stone and mark and bend that structure so that it could embrace your stone and it would be fit well. Now this is the time to bend one of those wire strands all over to be all fastened. And here we have three other open parts. And one of them could be the bale, one of the shorter ones. And this is going to be curved all around to be more fastened up. And I'm doing that with round nose pliers and also squeeze it with chain nose pliers to be better fixed. And I check it out at every angle. And also look at this stone in. And now uh, one of the wire strands are shorter, which is going to be bale. And one of them that is a little longer 
is going to be onto the stone to keep it from falling down at front. So I'm going to wrap the longer tail and just wrap it diagonally just like this and in continue we are going to attach the tail to the wire frame and now with the shorter one and of course around those pliers we are going to make a bail just like this bend it and also bend the extra part and attach it to the nearest wire and squeeze it well. Every time a while just insert your stone and check it out to be all fit and wherever it's needed and you feel gap just extract it and bend it even with chain nose pliers or round nose pliers to be all fit to the stone. You might encounter some unwanted shapes just like this and I really like it because it's shaped during forming and it goes with the form of the stone but you could even control it if you don't like it and change the place where it bends. Now, for the backer part, first we need to make some wires to prevent the stone from falling down. So, pick up the thinner wire of about 28 gauge and make a wrapping part at one side at the backer part, of course, and wrap it all around the first wire strand and I'm doing this of course with round nose pliers to be better wrapped and make a very little loop at first wrap it all around the wire strand and rotate it and fix it out and squeeze it then Continue that for about three or four times. Cut it out at the very ending point with flush cutter and squeeze it well with chain nose pliers. And this is the first part. We are going to pull it and do the same at the other side in front. So here I make about two centimeters more and then cut it out. And then make another wrapping part in front of the first one. Now I'm going to insert this stone in. Check it out a little for the size. And when the stone sits, of course. And then continue doing the same for three times at least. But you could do that even for more. Now for the upper part. Here I'm going to bend this part a little onto the stone but it totally depends on the shape of your stone and of course the wire wrapping parts but this helps to prevent the stone from falling down and keep it a little more tight and now just slick it out. It's better so that all the parts are slapped onto the stone. And here I need to squeeze the longer tail at the top a little more with chain nose pliers. And then here I cut it out with flush cutter to be easier to be wrapped all around this part at the back here part of course so I wrap each of those wire strands one after the other with round nose pliers 
and at the end we'll squeeze them with chain nose pliers. We do the same for the other side here. So I bend every of these wire strands uh, in the nearest wire that I see and would we'll squeeze it. And now this is the basic form of the wire pendant and you can decorate it with wire coils or other wrapping parts. Hope you enjoyed and bye bye.